What it do, beautiful people? Welcome back, Sky Squad. Hello, hello. Um, and if you're new here, you could call me Sky. And I just like really getting back into um, creating lock styles for every astrological sign um, throughout the year. I've done this previously, so I decided to bring it back with some new lock styles because that's some of the hardest things sometimes when having locks. A lot of people think there's just like no versatility. Like you can't do anything with it but if you are creative there's just so much you can do with your locks and um honestly i love to have locks i would never go back um so in this video i just in time for a taurus season i wanted to show you guys how to get these lock buns it has been a super long time since i've done lock buns um and you only need a couple of things so if you want to know how I achieved this look, that is really, really simple. Once you get it down, it is simple. Um, it's easy to do, looks cute. You can jazz it up, zhuzh it up as much as you want to. Um, so this is even more versatile than what I'm showing you. Um, but yeah, if you want to know how to do this really, really quick, really, really easy, keep watching. So what you'll need to accomplish this lock style <laughs> Some elastic um, hair ties that I have in here. You definitely, you'll definitely, you will definitely, definitely need this. Um, this what makes it easy peasy lemon squeezy, and that's the invisible hair net. Luckily, these comes in a pack of three. I suggest go ahead and pick up two, three packs. Um, it looks like this, and I say get multiple packs because if it gets snagged at all, like especially me with these nails. Um, they need to come off so especially with long nails or anything like that um, it could get snagged and create a hole in it and it just kind of defeats the purpose of why you needed this to begin with um, but you'll need one of these and this will help keep your locks kind of like tucked away so you don't have to be bothered with bobby pins or anything like that and I really don't like using bobby pins if I can help it I don't want to have that pressure um, like smushing down my lock or anything like that um, and that's like less pins you have to figure out how you're going to do. So these are the main things that you'll need. So you can pick them up at your local beauty supply store. For a three pack, I pay $2 at mine. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and separated my hair down the middle and sectioned it off that way. And then the next thing we would do is actually start out with a ponytail before we do our bun. So I'm going to do a pretty high ponytail it's because I want my buns to sit high. So wherever you want your buns to sit, that's where your pony, uh, ponytail should start. Um, so you can do this high, low, it's totally up to you. And I am purposefully leaving the front two locks out because I like that look. I like that overall style because I can always add beads or jewels to the front for a little bit more pizzazz. And now I will actually be twisting and wrapping my hair around itself. And this is the beginning of your bun. So you can either leave it like that with a couple of locks sticking out, which I personally don't mind the locks sticking out, but this is where the invisible um, hairnet comes in and is very, very important because it'll actually keep those flyaways, those sticking out short locks. It will actually keep it down with the bun for that sleek look. Um, so once I have it around the actual bun, I'm just making sure that I'm covering my bases here. Then I will wrap the excess around my lock to secure it. So I still don't need bobby pins or anything like that. Okay, looks like I finally got it secured after twisting it around. And now it's time to do the other side. my ponytail like this and I think it's really cute.
But yeah, this, I just thought this was a really cute, you know, lock style. Um, and even if you have smaller locks, I find that when I have smaller ones and I try to do cute little space buns, you still, no matter if you have long locks or short locks, sometimes you have locks that will still poke out. That's just how it goes. And I feel like this fishnet thing is a lifesaver. So this would be good for all lengths um, and all stages. And I really, really like it, y'all. So yeah, let me know if you try out the style. Let me know if you use my technique or um, if this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below. I love reading you guys' comments. Thank you guys so much for being involved. Um, I'm just really, really excited. You know, I haven't been posting every single Saturday, but I have been working so hard on a new launch for the Resilient Lotus that's coming out soon. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. So make sure you sign up for the newsletter at theresilientlotus.com. I am in love with this collection I'm releasing. Um, and what I did to get like a little, a really nice, um, I call it a soft retwist, but really I'm just retwisting the first one or two rows to just kind of freshen up my overall look. I use my actual new gel that I have. It's aloe and flaxseed in one, period. That's all I needed to know. That's all I needed to see. All my products are made clean, handmade, um, basically all the goodness without the BS. That's pretty much the goal. Like you can go to the store, you'll see something maybe for curly hair, loose naturals, maybe something for locks, and it's just filled with crap. Um, so I use high quality ingredients, clean ingredients, um, really putting at the forefront, no flakes, no flakes in sight. And this is definitely a stronger hold than the Flax on Fleek um, that I've had previously. So if you're an OG and have had that before, you know what I'm talking about. That was a little bit um, on a lighter hold. This, we got the powers of aloe and flaxseed in one, and it is a stronger hold than that. Very, very good without flakes, because that's frustrating. You wash, you retwist your hair, and then you have flakes. No bueno, so, um, and no build up. So yeah, I use that on my front today and I really like, I think it helped pull the look together. So um, keep an eye on that. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Um, even this sweatshirt is also available as well. The Resilient Lotus up front and on the back and has love your lock in every phase. Um, I feel like that's very important because our locks continuously go through phases, whether you're starter locks or you have mature locks, teen locks whether it's going through budding or if you're worried about thinning, all of our locks go through phases and stages and it's important to kind of, you know, love your locks through every phase, love your life in every stage, um, welcome the change basically. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below and until next time, peace, <laughs> peace.